Hello guys, coming at you with another episode of Ultimate General Gettysburg Multiplayer. This time I am actually playing as the Union Forces um, on the Battle of McPherson's Ridge, and I would love to see if I could do a better job than I did before, really capitalize on my position and hopefully win the battle, you guys. Get my uh, second victory here on Ultimate General Gettysburg. I did get another one, but it was only because the opponent actually quit the battle. Um, kind of just rage quit once I took the ridge. Um, so I'm going to try to get on that ridge as soon as I can and hold that position. Um, I really, really want to do that. I'm actually going to move all of my forces to the ridge um, before I concentrated some forces on the north, but I think this time, probably not going to. I'm going to move everyone here. If anything, I may move some skirmishers, Devon skirmishers over here to flank the enemy cavalry unit, I mean the enemy um, artillery units, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But as you can see, we are approaching the ridge. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Paul to run. I'm going to get straight up here on this ridge as well to try to provide some support. Um, and also, Kalis, we can move these guys up, as well as the Vedettes. Um, right now, I'm not too concerned about the enemy artillery fire, to be honest with you. Um, I'm more concerned about the enemy infantry. don't think that that uh, artillery fire is going to be too damaging to us right away. But head skirmishers might just take us out of the fight. So we're going to go ahead and keep moving up. You can see Iron Brigade can go ahead and deal with these guys over here. I'm not sure how successful they will be. And in fact, I sort of think I should take these Vedettes, sort of support Iron Brigade down here. So let's see how that works out. Right now, we're just holding our position, uh, trying to get as much shot down on the enemy as possible. Um, let's go ahead. It looks like our vedettes are moving up here to try to attack some of the enemy cavalry units, but I think I'm actually going to bring my skirmishers back to support the uh, defense of the ridge. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So Iron Brigade, actually, I want you guys to pull back. No reason for Iron Brigade to move forward. We'll pull them back, stop them right about here. At this point, the enemy is going to have to do something about our men up here on the ridge. Um, they're definitely going to have to try to move us off or something like that. They're not going to succeed in just killing us with the skirmishers. As you can see, they've moved forward some skirmishers to try to outplace us, displace us, etc. Uh, but we're doing okay. As long as we get these uh, artillery units on the ridge, wow, we're going to be at a huge advantage. Um, I'm taking these vedettes right now. You can see he's taking a right to try to flank us, which is a pretty smart move. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to run past him with the, with the vedettes. Um, don't know how success is going to be, but let's see if we can get behind him. And we may want to actually take Baxter here and move him up here just in case that guy tries to flank us. Let's go ahead and try to flank the enemy cavalry here, guys, with the vedettes. Uh, I'm not sure how successful that's going to be. We got Stuart up here. We can already commence some shell shot. Uh, well, apparently right now all he can do is round shot. So I will have him just continue the solid shot, try to run rice, and take out those artillery batteries. Okay, let's move our skirmishers up. Give them a little bit of a fight too, guys. We'll move these skirmishers up to Gambles. Um, we'll just try to hurt them as much as we can. And look at this. We're actually pushing their artillery uh, back a bit. We're just trying to kill as many of them as possible. He's in a little bit of a sort of a, conf a confused state. He doesn't know what to do here. Um, we're going to go ahead and move the skirmishers up. Gambles as well. Open fire. We are in a bit of an exposed position here, but I think we'll be okay. And at least we could stop him from having any sort of um, artillery support here. Let's go ahead and open up here on Archer's Brigade with the skirmishers. Hopefully these guys will pull back as soon as they open up the volley. There we go. We just want to really wound Archer and make him think twice about um, ever coming up against us again. In fact, let's put Hall over here. Cooper has a decent position, so I'll, I'll let him stay put. But for right now, our skirmishers are just sort of bringing the fight to the enemy. We still hold the ridge, um, and hopefully we'll continue to hold it. We've got some skirmishers back here as reserve units. And in fact, we've even got Buford. I guess we could bring him up. Uh, but right now, I've got no, no need, really, to try and push for that uh, position over here in the back. So I don't know why the enemy is taking so long to do an assault. See, the Vedettes are a bit... Uh, they're, they're terrified right now. They're running. Uh, but they've done their job. They've just a lot of artillery units on the ridge, and now our skirmishers can fall back a bit. Um, and we can let the rest of our infantry go ahead and deal with the fight. In fact, we'll let this still harass Archer's Brigade over here. Um, bring Paul here. It'd be great if he could get some canister shot down. And it looks like the Vedettes are almost ready here. Not so sure it was a good idea to bring Baxter up here. We may want to just bring him sort of close to the battle so he can act as a reser as reserve unit. Now you can see it looks like the enemy is possibly going for an assault pretty soon here. Not sure how soon, uh, but it does look like a likely possibility. But luckily Pettigrew's been taking a lot of damage from this cannon, uh, so I'm glad about that. Let's actually move up the cannon a little more and see if we can broken through with some shell shot. Okay. No, 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 no,
no, not that Steven. Super when they find her. Fire right, broken, bro. Okay, the searchers are still opening fire here. I could bring the rest of the animals up to shoot, but I think I'm going to pull back now, get a nice little volley off, and just pull back, call it a day. And in fact, if we have shell shot capabilities now, which we do, beautiful, we're definitely going to open fire over here on Gamble, uh, excuse me, on Archer and uh, Wilcox. So let's get Hall to start firing shell shot too. There we go, some shell shot. We can actually maybe even move Cutler up here a little bit and engage a Wilcox's brigade. Let's see if that works. We'll go ahead and hit Wilcox over here, get him a little confused. We will be running ahead of Wright's brigade when this happens, but I think we should be okay. And let's hit him with skirmishers again. I'm loving these skirmishers, guys. Absolutely loving them. I just have to keep walking all of these other areas to make sure the enemy's not doing anything sneaky. Though it doesn't look like he is. He does have Wright here, so I may go ahead and move Baxter up to counter Wright. Um, not sure how successful that's going to be. Let's open up on Wilcox here with the skirmishers. I don't know why Caleb isn't firing. I want you to fire, Caleb. Alright, we'll try again. Get him even closer. And there we go. The skirmishers have opened. Nice. Baxter is getting close to right. We'll actually stop Baxter right here. Halt him in this what looks like sort of a swampy area. Not sure if I'm right on that. And the skirmishers we will keep in combat. In fact, we'll send this other unit of gamble skirmishers. Now we finally got some shell shot on the enemy. That's what I'm talking about. Um, unfortunately, Caliph still crazy old self, not firing at Wilcox, but he will fire at Archer. That's good. Um, and that's just going to put even more hurting on the Confederates. Boom! Another hit on Archer. Here we go. Just keep up the fire, skirmishers. These skirmishers are absolutely invaluable. have the Vedettes come up here and throw some fire down too. And in fact, we'll get Cooper up here on the ridge. But I don't mind having this round shot sort of hanging back. Alright, it looks like he may be bringing Davis down, as you guys can see, to attack the south. Wouldn't be surprised if that's what he's going for. Um, but we're not going to move any units down there right now. For now, the person that's going to be able to hold the south is going to be Iron Brigade. Although what we may have to do is go ahead and bring the fight over here to Pettigrew eventually. Not yet, though. Let's go ahead and bring some support. All right, Hall. And we'll go ahead and engage right, actually. Give this guy some action up here in the north with Baxter. And I see Davis down there definitely going for a banking maneuver. I think he's trying to bring me into an attack, but you know what? I think if I go with Biddle and with Iron Brigade, I may be able to do some pretty good damage on Pettigrew. Force him back here. As you see, he's already turning Davis, guys. He's already going for that uh, charge. Or not the charge, but just the engagement um, against my guys. Now, they do have the advantage in that they are in a wooded area. So that's not so good for Iron Brigade and Biddle. But I'm hoping that we can go ahead, do enough damage to make them rethink uh, the assault down here in the south and pull back, hopefully. And as you can see, Pettigrew's taking a tremendous amount of fire there. Uh, but if we have to, we will fall back. All right, Baxter has engaged right. Oh, not yet, apparently. There we go. Now Baxter's opening up on right, doing a tremendous amount of damage. Or not tremendous, but enough, certainly. Uh, maybe we can have Cutler move up here and open up on Wilcox. Okay, guys, so far Pettigrew is still engaging Iron Brigade and Biddle. It looks like we've got Davis here and Skirmishers trying to outflank us. Um, and that's something we probably have to stop, but I'm not sure how we're going to stop it without some reinforcements. All we can do is hope that these guys can hold the fight up uh, well enough against Pettigrew. Come on, guys. Pedigree's men are still taking a lot of damage. We'll try and hit the skirmishers over here, actually, with the cadets. Um, and let's see if we have anyone else here that can help. Oh, uh, boy. Let's take Cutler. Cutler's going to have to come back here and try to defend Oak Ridge in case the enemy tries to flank us, which is what they're going for right now. And Baxter is still fighting right. He's got pretty good morale. Alright, let's get skirmishers up, do some more damage on the Wilcox. Boom, that shell shot is wonderful. Alright, here we go. It's definitely they're definitely coming with the attack with the skirmishers. Um, we can actually move Paul down and have Cutler take his place. I think this will work out pretty well. Now this is gonna also give them a false sense of security because they're gonna think, oh, they're moving off the hill. Uh, but we're not moving off the hill. So they may actually go ahead and try to assault it um, in this same wave. We'll see. All right, there we go, guys. We've actually got the skirmishers pulling back a bit. I'm not sure our guys can get into position quickly enough 
uh, to make much of a difference. I think what I may do... Actually, no, I'm not going to pull back. The guys are in excellent condition. Um, we're going to actually try to engage these units with fall as quickly as we can. Let's get color up here on the ridge. Okay, we've got one unit of skirmishers that have pulled back. We've got to be a little careful with that. Uh, let's make sure that these guys are still firing shell shot. Could actually maybe move over to canister shot. Another unit of skirmishers pulling back. We're going to let those guys rest for a bit. All right, let's see what's going on in the south. Okay, Paul has finally engaged Davis, guys. Hopefully we can get a good firing line going here. We can go ahead and move the vedettes into the skirmishers. In fact, I'm going to try for a charge. I've never actually charged with the vedettes, but just as an effort to displace those skirmishers, I'm going to go for it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. We got the skirmishers on the run. So looks like we're engaging them with the vets. Some cavalry damage there. And we have stopped that southern flank, which is a good, which has some good news, although we've made this area up north a bit weaker, um, which worries me. And so far, it doesn't look like the enemy has much to throw at us, except in the south. We'll go ahead and move these vedettes up to grass right a little bit more. Let's see what's going on here. All right, our vets have pulled back against the skirmishers. I don't... Uh, not surprised they did that. That's okay. We're going to move up, guys, with our vedettes and go ahead and fire into Davis's right flank. And that should annoy him enough to maybe reconsider his attack here. All right, here we go. Moving the vedettes up. Come on, guys. Whenever you're ready. Looks like they're going for these skirmishers. Paul's doing an okay job, though, I will say. Looks like our vedettes are back again. Baxter opening up on right with another volley. Bad, not bad at all. And now we can go ahead and take these skirmishers and start mounting that continuous, um, just trying to really irritate the enemy. Um, and, you know, either lull him into an attack that he can't bleed, or damage him enough that he's not able to ever launch an attack in the first place. And as you can see, Hall's canister shot there is taking a good chunk out of Wilcox. I think the enemy's focusing more on this southern area and southern approach, which maybe I should be too, but uh, I think we're doing a pretty good holding back Davis and Pettigrew. Two huge brigades. Um, take a look here. Von Biddle. Skirmishers, don't surrender. Let's bring Gamble's Vedettes over here for some support. Let's see what's going on in the south. All right, things are still going okay. I don't like the fact that these skirmishers are firing on us, uh, but nothing much we can do about that. Looks like Davis is going to go for a charge. Um, I'm not going to counter charge. I'm going to try to hold the charge with Paul. Uh, I think we can. I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't we shouldn't be able to hold this charge. And there we go. Yes, Davis has definitely tried to charge here. Maybe we'd counter charge. We're going to counter charge with Paul. Why not? Um, don't know what's going to happen here. I hope it's something good. Uh, but if we can make Davis pull back, we we'll be in an okay position. All right, there we go. We'll have the, the, the deaths charge too. May as well. Okay, on Iron is pulled back, guys. That's scary. Um, another thing that's happening, you can see the tremendous amount of casualties on Iron Brigade, actually. Uh, that's not a good thing. We can go ahead and try to bring the vedettes here to bring some support to these guys. Biddle seems to be on his own now. Paul is still fighting with Davis, and Davis seems to have actually made Paul run. Um, so we're going to see if Paul has to run. He may have to. If he does, we will pull back to a better defensive position. Uh, in fact, we'll go ahead and start moving Biddle back here to this wooded area. Um, and hopefully we can hold that position better. Look at all of those Union men that died defending this area. Unbelievable. Um, so let's pull back there. The enemy's going to go ahead and move forward. We would have expected them to do that. And let's go ahead and take Reynolds, see if we can get Reynolds' artillery down here soon. Looks like Wilcox is moving forward too. And we will move Bucktail Brigade up there to deal with him. We've been waiting for him for quite a while. Um, we're not scared to go ahead and open fire. Go ahead and get Cutler here. He can start open fire on Archer's Brigade. Um, and as you can see, the enemy's going to be attacking us over here. We've got some wood advantage, or advantage of the woods, I should say. Um, hopefully... This will allow us to put up enough of a defense to s survive this battle and actually win it. Um, that would be friggin' awesome. Go ahead and open up with Cutler on Broken Bro. We don't him. We don't want him to suddenly become a problem. Uh, and especially if the enemy charges again, that's going to be very painful. All right, Bucktail. Looks like Archer may be ready to run pretty sooner. We'll go ahead and move Devon skirmishers uh, uh, forward to make these guys think twice about this. Boom, another hit on Wilcox. 
Get some gamble skirmishers to open up on Archer. Okay. Cutler is still doing this. Now, they are pushing Paul off uh, this area with their armature units. I don't like that one bit. Uh, but possibly what we can do is move these videt, cover their retreat, uh, and then Paul can come back into the battle with a full force. Let's see if that can happen. Okay, there we go. Looks like Biddle is still holding his ground uh, pretty well. Iron Brigade is ready to go ahead and get into combat, so we'll have him open up on Broken Bro. So we want to break his brigade before we uh, start focusing on Pettigrew. There we go. Broken Bro is broken. <laughs> I love saying that. And now we will turn our attention to Pettigrew's brigade down here. Remember, we have the wood advantage, so that should help us a little bit. I'm not sure how much it's going to help us, though, in the total grand scheme of things. Uh, all right. Enemies approaching the town of Gettysburg. Forcing Paul back. That's kind of annoying. And it's going to be hard without Paul there to actually secure a victory here. Uh, but time is on our side. That's the only good news that we have here. And look, there's a huge line of Confederate dead there too. Uh, so it's not just us. Go ahead and move the skirmishers up as well. And we can go ahead and actually move Cutler down here to support uh, this attack on Pettigrew. You can see Pettigrew is moving down. Cutler, excuse me, supports this attack on Pettigrew. Um, Cutler is moving down to support our guys. And although I am leaving this ridge area open, we still have a unit here to defend it. That's Bucktail Brigade. Uh, and they should be able to defend it any Confederate chargers up the hill. So we're going to go get Cutler there. And as you can see now, he is also supporting uh, this attack on Pettigrew. Uh, that's probably going to be a little helpful because Pettigrew has a lot of guys in that unit. Uh, and that's not good for us. Make sure we're shell-shotting. There we go. He's finally turning towards us to open up a volley. Cutler's going to get a volley off on him, too. There's a dead Confederate in the river. That's crazy. All right, Wilcox is moving up now. Now that I don't like. Let's get everybody up. Everybody up on Wilcox. Uh, see if we can... Can we move the canister shot? Not yet. But if we need to, we will be using canister shot. We don't want them to get an uphill advantage. Let's make sure the skirmishers know what they're doing. Uh, and let's get Baxter to go ahead and move over here. Have him run. There we go. Now this is the final charge. Archer looks like he's making a charge up the hill. Uh, trying to take this final position. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I hope not. Uh, let's go ahead and just have Bucktail sort of... Um, uh, how should I say this? What's the correct word? Absorb that charge. Um, and as you can see, Davis is moving up here. So we'll move Iron Brigade to deal with Davis. We'll move Biddle to deal with Davis as well. Start opening fire on him, and it looks like we have secured the hill. We are there, guys. We've still held it against these uh, Confederate charges. You can see the Confederates are totally pulling back, and a lot of dead over here. We have to watch out for Wright's Brigade, though, so we will definitely keep an eye on them. Uh, but we'll move Baxter back up here to a better position. And as you can see, wow, look at that. Iron Brigade is actually going to get reassigned here. It uh, looked like they were about to charge, um, and as long as we hold this position, uh, we have a nice little area here of defense against Pettigrew. See if Stevens can. Oh wow, Davis is on the run, guys. Davis is on the run, and that certainly makes me happy. Looks like the battle is about to end. I'll take a quick look here at the battlefield, uh, just so you guys get an idea of what happened in this engagement here. But we did manage to hold and win as the Union. It looks like um, Confederate did a pretty good job, I would say. I think down here I was very worried. You could see how many Union men we lost. Unbelievable amounts of Union men just cut down to smithereens. But we won, guys. We got a victory on McPherson's Ridge. As you guys can see, um, the Union did win. We lost more men than the Confederacy. I'm not surprised about that one bit. Uh, 3,044. The enemy lost 2,555. So very even in terms of uh, really numbered loss. We have a little bit of an advantage on the amount of numbers we lost. But let's go ahead and take a look at the battle statistics here. Uh, I just want to see who the best brigades were and actually Pettigrew's the Confederacy the enemy's brigade was the best um, they got 479 kills and they were really a challenge for us throughout the entire battle uh, at the end of the battle they still had 34 morale 34 percent morale and if you guys think of how many volleys we put on them how much cannon shot we threw at them it's amazing that they were able to hold their morale throughout the entire battle so a huge thumbs up to uh, James J Pettigrew but my brigade
Brigade's Iron Brigade here with Sal Solomon Meredith. This guy is awesome. Brigade, I got 594 kills, um, and they lost 156 men. So true, um, true champions here, true heroes of the battle. Um, just an absolutely amazing job. And we've got Devin Skirmishers here. I've never had a Skirmisher unit um, that had so many kills. I think that on multiplayer, the Skirmishers are worth so much more than they are in the single-player um, campaign. And uh, it's rude. they're extremely helpful at harassing the enemy and just really just scaring the hell out of them. Um, that guy got 629, that can't be right, 295 kills. It's still pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, go ahead here and end this video, but I thank you for joining me. Uh, joining me, join me for future multiplayer battles in Ultimate Gettysburg, and hopefully we can have a blast. Thanks a lot, and have an awesome day.